A day that I've been waiting for for quite a little while has finally arrived. As you can see, the Shield Tablet Software Upgrade version 4.0 has finally arrived for the original Shield Tablet. I am already downloading it, so we're going to go ahead and see what happens. But here's what you can expect with this new update. You're going to get an updated Shield camera, brings along material design as well as some new HD imaging effects. Google Now on tap, so when you hold that home button, you can very easily get some contextual information about what's going on. Most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, is the adoptable storage, meaning that the micro SD card you're using in the device can actually be seen as if it's a part of the built-in storage, which is gonna be huge. If you have the 16 gig model like I have right here, being able to put, I don't know, 128 gig micro SD card in there will make a massive difference. And you're also gonna have some updates to the user interface, some new app permissions. App permission updates in Marshmallow were an amazing feature. But for me, the big things going to be this new adoptable storage. So at this point I'm just going to give it some time, let it finish its update, and we'll be back and take a quick look at it. Alright, quite a bit later, but the update did finish successfully. I haven't really taken a look at it myself yet, but here you go, here's what it looks like. It's actually complaining that Google Play services needs to update, so we'll go ahead and update that first thing. And you may notice in the notification tray it does also say system upgrade successful. Just go ahead and double check on it. We'll come into the settings menu, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit about tablet, and then scroll down. We see the Android version says Android 6.0. Kernel version 3.10.67 plus. There's your build number. Shield tablet software version 4.0. We'll go ahead and take a look at our camera app. There it is, Shield camera. It says allow Shield camera to access this device location. This again is one of the Marshmallow upgrades. They allow that fine green permission though. Swipe to show modes, touch for mode options, touch for single image, hold for a burst, and swipe to access your gallery. So we'll swipe and there's lots more options. Single or multiple images, scene that can fit into a whole view slow motion video, video or QR scanner, and then global options and features. This looks like a slightly modified version of the Google camera. But we've got camera, panorama, slow motion video, video or QR code scanner. Let's take a look at the slow motion video because I'm curious. Well, that did front or rear facing. Okay, and the slow motion video is doing slow motion video. It says it's 720p and 18 seconds, so it definitely slowed down probably by five or six times. So if we watch it back, yep, it's doing things a lot slower. And actually you can see here from the player, it's just a certain portion of it that it's slowing down and you can customize that. Other than that, the grand majority of it should be pretty much the same. You've got your camera with your camera controls and everything over there. You are supposed to have live video filters though, if I remember correctly. Let's see the HD effects. There's a bunch of HD effects there. That's HD enhanced, vivid, dramatic. Let's just tap on them and see what happens. Yep, it's making the video look just a little bit different. Oh, that's an interesting one. That one is called Stained Glass Cartoon, which makes it look kind of cartoony. Yeah, there's just a bunch of these, and honestly, realistically, this is nothing I'm ever going to touch. But they are options. They are there. If you do want to use them, you can. I don't generally ever touch the camera on a tablet. Just going to be honest there. But the update that I was really, really excited about, I can now use this and actually have it be useful. This is a Sony micro SD card. It's a 64 gigabyte, 70 megabytes per second card. As you can see there, UHS-1 should be a really fast card. Not the fastest on the market, obviously, but pretty fast. However, I have heard that even cards of this speed don't do all that well as Android adoptable storage because the NAND flash that's built into these devices is so fast. But let's just see what it does when I stick the card in. Ah, and it did pop down here from the top. It says SD card, new SD card detected. We'll say setup. We can use it as portable storage or as internal storage. And this for storing anything on the device only, including apps and photos. It requires formatting and it prevents it from working with other devices. I'm gonna go ahead and just accept that. I want this device to have more storage because 16 gigs is a little bit ridiculous. So we're gonna select that and hit next. And it's gonna double check, remind you, make sure you've got everything off of this card. If you do this, you're gonna lose everything. I did make sure to take everything off. I had a bunch of pictures on there, so luckily I did check. This might take a minute. You might wanna go get coffee or something. Ah, and there we go. It says you can move your photos, files, and some apps to the SD card. It takes about 11 minutes and it's going to free up 6.61 gigs of internal storage. Absolutely, let's do that. And again, it's going to take about 11 minutes. It's going to be 6.61 gigs of internal storage. Yep, do it. And I'm going to go ahead and let that do its thing. Obviously, since the update just came out today, I can't give you any information on battery life or on SD card performance. Maybe I can make an updated video about this after I've used it for a little while. Let me know if there's anything that you have problems with down in the comment section below if you do own the Shield tablet and if you've tried out the Marshmallow update on it, specifically to do with the micro SD card because that's really my primary concern with this. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was a little bit useful for you at least. Remember to click the thumbs up button below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more of my videos when they become available. That way they'll show up in your little subscription boxes and we will see you again next time. So I'll probably take that all the way back down so I have 5500 at 99. That's about what my lights, my existing lights are.